streamers, welcome back to my channel. So, um, as I saw in a comment before, like a while back, they asked if I was gonna do more diamond routines or how do I get as much as diamonds as I have at this moment. So today's video, we're gonna be focusing on farming in Campus 1 and Campus 2, but not like a method, rather just tips and tricks on how to make your farming routine a lot easier. So let's get into it. Alrighty, to start off, we're gonna list some pros and cons of, you know, the server that you're gonna be farming at. So a lot of people usually uh, go into public servers because obviously they're free, you know, it's just the obvious way to go. But there's also the option of private servers, which is a little bit more luxurious, but it'll make your farming routine a little bit easier. So to start off, we're gonna go with the private servers and its pros and cons. So with a private server, some pros are that the dims still spawn out and you're able to get it without people snatching them. Another pro is that it's a lot quicker because since it's just you and the server, um, the classes, let's say like chemistry, one round and you're done. Like legit, it's super fast. Um, another uh, pro for the private server is time. So like if you don't have enough, like have a lot of time for this day, um, you can just, you can switch servers real quick to get as many classes as you want and it won't take an eternity. So those are some pros of the private server, though there are also cons to a private server. It's not all dandelions and rainbows. So some cons about a private server is that it can get expensive. In order to get a private server, it's a hundred Robux to have a personal private server, but you can always have friends who have private servers, though usually, um, I know a lot of people usually don't. But that's one con. Another con is that it can get lonely, not gonna lie. If you don't have any like friends online or you have your joins off, it can get lonely in a private server. And also, it can also get boring. If you're not entertaining yourself like some other way, like through Spotify or Netflix, it can get boring. But otherwise than that, the private server does have a lot of pros to it. Now we'll be discussing like the pros and cons of a public server. So a lot of people are probably want to hear this more because a lot of people just use public servers. Like, come on. So public server does have some pros. The main pro to a public server is it's free. Like legit, it's free. That's how you play a game. You do not need to pay nothing. It's free. Um, another pro of a public server is that it has free entertainment. Like. There is a lot of people who make chaos and just make a lot of drama. It's like free entertainment that you can just read the chat while farming it. It's honestly kind of fun, not gonna lie. I've done that a lot. Those are technically the only pros I can like think of of a public, public server. Um, you can still get dims, but usually a lot of people snatch them before you can ever get them. So those are like some pros. Some cons of the public server is like i said dims will be snatched way quicker um i'm not sure if this is proven but sometimes when there's a lot of people in a public server i feel like it gets laggier like it just gets more lag i don't know if it's proven or whatever but that's just my personal opinion as well another con is that you're gonna have to server hop a lot more because um usually when you join a private I'm sorry, a public server. <laughs> um, usually you can either end up in ball time or like at the at breakfast time. It just depends. Like you never can choose in contrast from a private server. So you will have to server hop multiple times and usually you might not end up getting the classes you want. So it, it has its pros and cons to it. Alrighty, so now that you know like the pros and cons of each uh, server choice, um, we're now going to go into Campus 2 tips and tricks. So Campus 2 is my personal favorite to like level farm and uh, dim farm because there's dims, XP, and classes. I just feel like it's a lot faster for me personally. The only problem with Campus 2 that it is a crap ton laggier like it's really bad 
but otherwise than that, I'm usually there for almost anything. So here are some tips and tricks to it. So starting off with swimming class. So swimming class, there are two ways to make your um, grind way super easy uh, without putting so much effort. So people call this cheating, but honestly, who cares if you're cheating? This is not actual school, so it's fine. So two ways to skip swimming, but still get XP in the credit, is um, you can fly towards a bench and then sit down until the countdown ends and then you can walk back to whatever you were doing before. And like in that time, look for dibs, go back to your drama you're watching, up to you. Another way to skip swimming and get XP is, okay, so let's say um, you weren't able to make it to the bench in time and you got teleported to the stool um, on top of the pool. So at this point, people are like, oh shoot, now I got to jump. I'm gonna fall, whatever. Okay, do not fret. There is an easier way of that. So all you need to do, technically, is just press dress up and just stand there, like legit. You don't do anything, you just stand there. So a lot of people forget about this method. I feel like there's another method. I don't really know. These are like the two that I use and I always get like an A plus in that class. Um, I'm not sure about the other ways, but I feel like there is. But those are the ways that I use for swimming. Now moving on to art class. So there is not really a way to like skip art class without like with getting XP. You still have to participate. But I'm not sure if I just noticed this really late. But okay, so I used to be a mobile player. Back then I would play on my phone. And then I switched towards my PC and I only play on PC. Though technically, um, on PC, like, I didn't know you could, like, have the drag motion when completing art. I thought you could only, like, click one singular box at a time, but you can drag. I don't know if this has been always, I noticed it pretty late. I honestly just don't know, but I feel like that's a good tip. If you didn't know, yeah, you can drag the clicker and you'll finish way faster. Now in science class, okay, so a lot of people have a mixed view on chemistry. Like on chemistry, it can be either the easiest or legit worst class in Royal High. Like in a pri in a public server, in a private server, it is so much easier because there is no stress of like finishing as soon as possible. Like you can legit just do one round and you're completed with an A. But if you are in a public server, there is more competition of seeing who finishes first and who can get in most rounds completed. So one thing just to remember in science is try to finish at, as soon as possible. Like try to finish all those rounds ASAP because then you'll, there's a higher chance of you getting a higher score. As well, if you are on PC, do not, for chemistry, do not have your screen on full screen. full screen yeah do not have it on that option have it like shrink it to a smaller size and it'll make your experience so much easier because you do not have to drag your cursor all over the place like your mouse like because they as the bigger your screen the more the chemistry bottles expand so it makes it harder to get one to like point a to point b so if you just make your screen a little smaller Bro, it'll make your life so much easier like no kidding so now for PE um, so PE you know there's a little mini obby and then the flying portion for PE so there okay I used to do the P the obby option and it just took forever especially here on PC I just suck at obbies so it was just so hard it took me a while to perfect it but I knew this for a long time, like as an OG player. I don't know if people know about this. I've, I've seen several people know about it, but yet people don't practice it. So technically it is that as soon as you get teleported to PE to like the bridge, go on your, like turn on your flight pass, put in like 300 something, and then fly straight to like the dock where you take off to fly and there's like these two benches so on one sit on one of those two benches and wait till the countdown goes down 
And then there you go. You legit skip the whole obby and just have to do the flying portion and get the dims. This saves a lot of time and it just makes it easier. Like if you rage pretty quickly, like me, um, honestly, it'll just make your life a lot easier. A lot of people like during lunch don't do anything. So it's not mandatory to do anything on lunch because usually you buy food. I won't recommend buying food. Like, no, do not buy food. It is a waste of dims. That's all up to you. Uh, so what I like to do during lunch if you have nothing to do is legit just like collect dims. Like in campus too, they spawn at random places. So there is a chance that you might get it. Um, like especially in a private server. If you're in a public server, um, there is still a chance of you getting dims. Like keep looking, it'll take a little longer. But during that lunchtime, just get dims or get XP. I don't recommend getting XP. I would rather just get dims and make, make that XP go way down. But it's all up to you. And now to conclude the campus 2 tips and tricks, I recommend getting XP in the very end of your like day, like quote unquote school day. Like I would end up getting XP at that time because by that time your um, XP should be at 10, 0, who knows, depends on how much work you did. Um, it should be really low and then it should just boost you up as soon as there. So yeah. Alrighty, little shoemies, thank you for watching this video. I hope all these like tips and tricks help in somewhat of a way. I hope you like learn something new. Who knows? But these are like just some like tricks that I found helpful to me personally and made my experience so much easier. So I hope it helps you in some sort of way. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe, turn on those notifications so you uh, you can see all these videos that I have for y'all. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.